Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to make a really simple one pan meal from my book, Delicious Gluten Free Meals. And today we're turning to page 128 to make my gluten free toad in a hole. Now, toad in a hole is one of those recipes that I always felt like I was missing out on because it's made with butter and apparently people think making gluten free butter is difficult when actually gluten free flour makes a really good butter. So let me show you how simple this is to make. It is the perfect midweek meal and great for a day like the day I'm filming this when it is freezing outside. So as you can probably hear behind me, I've got the oven on because the first step is that we need to cook our sausages and red onion wedges. Now I find it relatively easy to find gluten free sausages here in the UK. These Sainsbury's ones are my favourite, the Toulouse inspired sausages. They've just got a really garlicky, delicious flavour. But a lot of sausage packs have either got gluten free labels on them or they're gluten free by ingredients. But obviously some are not gluten free and still have rusk or wheat flour in them. So always be careful and double check your ingredients there. And I just need a red onion that I'm going to cut up into some wedges to go into my dish. So I'm going to cut my onion into eight wedges. I think these just add a lovely flavor to the dish, but they also add a really nice pop of color. And once I've got those and my sausages, I need to pour some oil into the tin. Now it might look like quite a bit of oil, but don't freak out, our batter's going in here as well and we wanna make sure that nothing sticks. So I'm just gonna arrange my sausages in there. Gosh, they're going everywhere. And then I'm just gonna put the onion wedges around them. Don't worry if the onion breaks up a little bit, it's just to kind of keep them in a rough wedge shape. Now this is already in the pan and as soon as my oven's up to temperature I'm going to pop them in for about 15 minutes while I make the batter and then it's simply a case of working as quickly as we can to get the sausages out, pour the batter in and get it back in the oven and cooking so it puffs up nice and big. Now while my sausages and onion are cooking I'm just going to make my batter really quickly. So in this jug I have got some milk and then all we need is two types of gluten free flour and three eggs. So first I'm going to crack my eggs into the milk. So I just give that a quick whisk with a fork just to kind of beat the eggs a little bit. And then I've got an equal mix of gluten free plain flour and corn flour, both of which are easy to find in the supermarket. And I just find that it gives it a really nice balance of like the golden brown colour and the lovely puffiness that you get. Which is just like my Yorkshire pudding recipe, which I will also link down below and you can also find in the side section of my book. So I'm gonna add the flour now. And then in with the corn flour. And for a bit of flavor, just a pinch of salt. And then I have got a whisk, or you can use a fork to just basically whisk this together into a smooth batter. I tend to use a fork at first just to kind of get rid of any big lumps and then go on to the whisk. Make sure you get right into the corners so we don't get any lumps of flour. Right, I'm going in there with the whisk. Oh, and really get some elbow grease behind it. And the bonus of using a glass jar is you can always see if you've got any kind of bits of flour left over that are clinging to the side, but I think we look kind of good. And as you can see, we've got a nice smooth batter, no lumps. Now I'm gonna just pop that to one side, leave it at room temperature until the sausages are ready. Got my batter here ready to go and I will show you how to do this. So I'll get my sausages out and they're sizzling nice and hot. Then we're gonna get this poured over as quickly as possible, all over everything. And 
and then straight back in the oven. Super speedy. And that's where the magic happens. Okay, here it is. My gluten-free toad in the hole. <laughs> Look at it. Just get a load of that. It's puffy. It smells amazing. It's got chunks of onion and my favorite gluten-free sausages. I cannot wait to dug into this with some gravy. I mean, just look at it. It's a thing of beauty. Now, to me, the only way to serve this up is with a big pile of steamy, cheesy mashed potato and loads of gravy, which I'm gonna do for dinner tonight. If you wanna give this recipe a go, you'll find it in the one pan wonder section of my book, Delicious Gluten Free Meals. There are loads of one pan ideas in there, tray bakes, gnocchi bakes, all sorts of things, but this toad in a hole has to top all of them. It's the one thing that I feel like we really miss out on and you just can't go to the pub and buy. So to be able to make something like this at home so easily is just amazing. I hope I've proven to you how easy it is. If you want the recipe, make sure you pick up a copy of my book. Hit subscribe to see more recipe tutorials like this and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.